there are two main types of how your flow in a pipe or around some other structure can go. Option one is your flow is laminar, meaning your flow uh, particles kind of travel mostly parallel. And uh, the ones that are at, let's say, at the bottom of the pipe will not suddenly go up to uh, the top of your pipe. The other option is if there's a lot of turbulence and then your flow paths are chaotic, a lot of little eddies, and your flow does kind of all type of different things. So option one is laminar, and option two is turbulent. Now, depending on the application, you might want laminar, you might want turbulent. If you want your fluids to mix, or for example, in a heat exchanger, you want uh, the heat to be uh, easily transferred to the outside of the pipe, then you maybe want turbulent. If, however, uh, you want to have easy calculations or uh, not have turbulence, as in the case of an airplane wing, then you want laminar. So how do you know ahead of time which type of flow you're going to get? Well, we have a good indicator for this one, which is the so-called Reynolds number. Now, the Reynolds number can be calculated as the density of your fluid times the speed at which your fluid is traveling uh, times a typical distance. Now, in the, in the case of a pipe, that will be uh, your diameter. And then you divide it by the viscosity, which is another material constant that you can look up for your fluid. Now, if your Reynolds number uh, ends up being smaller than uh, 2000, most likely you're going to have a laminar flow. If, however, your Reynolds number is much bigger, say 3000, some sources say 4000, uh, if you even see some saying 10,000, so the larger your Reynolds number, uh, the more uh, chance you have to have turbulent flow. If you're in between, so let's say a Reynolds number of two and a half thousand, uh, you will have an unstable flow which can switch from one to the other, which is probably the least uh, thing that you want in any application. You don't want your laminar flow to suddenly become uh, turbulent or the other way around. Either one, you would prefer laminar or you would prefer turbulent.